Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, somebody asked me in the comments and I had forgotten about that but we had talked about it and there was talk about the fact that moving to 24H2 um, there could be bit locker encryption of your drive and your data and I forgot about that but I went to 24H2 and I have a pro version of Windows t uh, 11 here, so that also already contains BitLocker, but I don't use it and never used it. Now somebody asked me, said, did it encrypt? And I was like, oh, you know what? I didn't check that. So after going to the different menus, um, I went to, of course, the BitLocker, and it says it's off and turned on, which means it was not turned on going from... 23H2 to 24H2. So the question that is here, does it turn it on only in specific times or hardware? So this machine does contain a uh, recovery partition. It should technically have everything needed to turn on BitLocker. It did not. Uh, does it simply follow or obey the rule that if you upgrade from 23H2 and you don't use BitLocker, it will update you to 24H2 without turning it on? Um, which would be logical and I think would be the best way because I don't think everybody needs to have BitLocker turned on. Or is it that it is at a fresh install? These are all questions right now. Um, obviously, didn't do it here on 24H2. So, did they change their mind and maybe say, well, let's go to 24H2 without doing it? Or, once again, you know, we are having two different operating systems. We're having two Windows 11 for different hardware. Could it be just that it's turned on on the ARM architecture, so Qualcomm chips, uh, BitLocker will be on because if you use Recall, we know that it's encrypted and needs BitLocker. So maybe it's only for those machines that it will be on by default. And for us, X64, we're going to stay the way it is. If it, you don't use it, you don't use it, and it's going to stay like that. Of course, all questions that Microsoft <laughs> does not answer because they don't talk about anything. But it's an interesting uh, question and mystery here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.